My name is Leanne Sherrod. I'm a speech language pathologist and the president and chief clinical officer here at Expressible. If you have a young child receiving speech therapy, I'm willing to bet that every single session hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows. What day with a little one isn't without its ups and downs? Today we're going to talk about what to do when your child just doesn't seem to be interested in speech therapy. Speech therapists often use toys, games, and fun activities to keep things interesting for young children. We're always focused on maintaining their motivation. But let's face it, therapy can be challenging, and sometimes kids just aren't into it. The reason they're receiving speech therapy in the first place is that they need support with communicating. That is to say, what they're working on isn't easy for them. So they may refuse to participate and they may fuss, cry, or even get frustrated or angry. Remember, all behavior is communication. We want to understand what your child is trying to say when they fuss or refuse and give them the tools to communicate more clearly. If you're tempted to feel embarrassed by your kiddo's behavior, don't worry. I promise that your speech therapist has seen it before. Let's work together to address the issue. First, let's talk a little about why kids might act out during therapy. For one thing, this may be their first time in a structured situation. They may not be used to paying attention and staying on task for longer periods of time. Also, children are smart. They know when something is hard for them and they may become frustrated and not want to do it. Finally, during speech therapy, your child may simply prefer to play something else or have more control over what they're doing. That's why it's important to figure out what's motivating for the child so they're more likely to participate. Now, here are some tips to help you do just that. One key is to prepare for the session beforehand. Try giving your child a snack or getting their wiggles out with some physical activity. Another idea is to save a special toy or game for use only during speech therapy. Some kids love puzzles, board games, or computer games. Others may enjoy coloring or blowing bubbles. Young children might do best with movement activities. Your therapist can try things like singing songs with hand motions, playing follow the leader, kicking a ball back and forth, or doing an obstacle course or scavenger hunt. Or consider a reward system. Many young children need positive reinforcement right after they complete a requested behavior. A reward can mean giving a child a turn in the game you're playing, or it can be something physical like a sticker. You can even add stickers to a chart that leads up to a bigger prize. Just make sure you start off keeping it one-to-one -one or one task to one reward. Of course, despite all of your best efforts, sometimes therapy just won't go as planned. So what should you do in real time if your child is frustrated or acting out? Remember, all behavior is communication. Stay calm and model the words your child could use to express their feelings. I'm mad. This is hard. I need a break. Follow your therapist's lead and remember that when our responses are consistent, this teaches our kiddos about expectations and boundaries. Finally, whether it's a good day or a tough one, offer your child lots of encouragement, praise, high fives, and hugs. The tasks they're working on aren't easy for them. Having a supportive grown-up cheering them on can make a big difference.